Some of our faculty members have also been recognized for their uh, teaching and research con uh, contributions. Uh, and uh, so some of you may be interested in the recruitment process. I had mentioned earlier that uh, we have 93 sanctioned positions and we have filled up all 93. But with the increase in student strength in the IITs uh, uh, have uh, a sanctioned faculty strength of one is to 10 ratio between faculty to student. So we will be hiring another 12 to 15 students in the next uh, next one year. Uh, sorry, 12 to 15 faculty members, not students. And the, the areas in which we, we are going to be hiring are being finalized right, right now. Right now we are in discussions with various departments based on our trust areas for research, based on the requirements of the departments, we're trying to identify this. So we're hoping to uh, release this advertisement uh, sometime in late October, early November. Uh, so once the advertisement is released, uh, the candidates have to apply against the advertisement. We will do a shortlisting process. Usually this process, depending on the department, depending on the number of applicants, takes anywhere from two months uh, to three months. Uh, and then we do the, uh, if it is a smaller uh, area, we will uh, uh, we'll do it faster. Uh, and then they, the shortlisted candidates who are called for interviews will have to come, up, come and do a research seminar. Uh, uh, and uh, uh, and also, especially at the ascent level, ascent level, level, we expect them to demonstrate their teaching capabilities. Also, this is a small module to demonstrate that. And then there's a formal interview with the expert committee, and the com the candidates uh, recommended by the expert committee will be uh, will be uh, made offers. Um, so uh, so this uh, so please watch out for our advertisement uh, late October, early November. Uh, where we will be uh, coming out with areas that we'll be looking at. Uh, certain areas that we have, uh, you know, one area that we've been very keen uh, and finding difficulty in uh, finding faculty is the area of statistics. You know, we have started this MSc in mathematics and statistics and uh, with, uh, you know, the emphasis on data science and of course our computer science department are working on that. We also want to build a very strong statistics uh, team and uh, this is one area we are finding great difficulty in uh, finding uh, faculty members. But the other areas will be, of course, all the latest areas will be, will be advertising. Uh, as I already mentioned, uh, we will give you a support of 20 lakhs uh, to kickstart your research, to get equipment, basic equipment or basic uh, facilities for your starting your research. But as I told you, uh, we are in the process of uh, uh, procuring state-of-the-art equipment uh, in uh, uh, in all the labs, uh, so you, the faculty members will be, have an opportunity, in addition to this 20 lakhs, uh, being able to uh, get some equipment provided it can be shown that it will lead to major uh, research uh, breakthroughs for the institute. The other big advantage that we have, the Indian Institute of Science Education Research, ICER, their campus is just coming up, uh, about 250 acre campus is just coming up the same road as us. They're about three kilometers from us. So we have strong collaboration with them. We are doing a number of initiatives together. We're trying to complement each other in terms of the research facilities we are setting up so that uh, we can uh, create a bigger ecosystem uh, in terms of the access to instrumentation and other things between the two campuses. We're also trying to uh, enable, uh, you know, teaching of, of course, already our, our faculty have been going and teaching at ISER, ISER faculty have been coming and teaching at IIT Tirupati, and we're also looking at uh, transfer of courses between the institutes, co-teaching of courses, uh, co-guiding research. Uh, as I already told, there are already two uh, centers uh, of excellence, uh, one in the atomic, molecular, and optical science area. The next one that is uh, getting finalized is, uh, is the one on energy but we're going to be working on many more of these initiatives together. So that's a big advantage. And Tirupati is a town uh, which has a huge, large number of institutions around uh, in terms of universities, in terms of uh, uh, labs, uh, ISRO labs at Gardanki, the NARL National Atmospheric Research Laboratory, and so on. 